Hey, what's going down? It's your boy, the young boss hog, Natoma Slim, and we chopping up game with the songstress herself, the songstress, the beautiful Yelly. How are you doing? Yo, what's up? I'm so excited to be in here. Oh, uh, no problem. Thank you so much for coming on. And I got to apologize for not having you in the studio, but you know, because of COVID and everything. Yeah, yeah that, that's everything. cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 got to make sure you're safe and everything. Right. So how, how have you been uh, holding up with the whole COVID and, and the lightweight quarantine and lightweight not quarantine that, that we got going on? Well, I would just say it's really just been a moment. I mean, it's been a blessing in disguise. Um, I mean, for me, it's been a blessing and a curse. So it's like there's a lot going on, you know, negatively in the world. So much is craziness going on. But um, in the end of the day, I try to make it positive and um, kind of flip the narrative. I've just been kind of staying in the house and really just focusing on myself, focusing on my music. You know, just getting myself really right, and uh, I've just done a lot of growth in this time, and it's just, it's it's really been just a good time to myself, really. Oh, that's what's up. And speaking of your music, uh, your music been doing doing well. Like you're you're getting a good buzz. People are checking you out. I was just listening to uh, Confide. If, is that what? Yes. It is? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this this slaps here. <laughs> you know what Thank I mean? You. Like you got, and you got a, a, a cool sound to you. So where'd you get your, your influences from? What influenced your sound? Well, you know, growing up, I really was, I, I've always had an old soul. So, you know, growing up, I was on some Erica Badu, Lauren Hill, you know, I mean, as far as like um, singing influences and just like my voice and things like that, I was doing a lot of Whitney Houston covers, Alicia Keys, Beyonce, like stuff like that. But um, yeah, my dad would be playing like Music Soul Child and, and Andre 3000 and things like that. So it just comes from many different places. And so yeah. Oh yeah, I could, I could, I could, I feel that vibe. I could see that you got that real soul sound to you you know what i mean you got a soul sound but you still you you keep it slapping it i, I like the dichotomy if you could say that you know what Thank I mean? like, you. It, yeah a, i would say just growing up i did listen to a lot of hip-hop like even like old school like boom back kind of hip-hop so i always try to influence like i put hip-hop into my r&b and just just like make make it slap still but make you feel it you know what i mean yeah, I, don't, I don't know what you mean you know yeah. still They'll make it smooth, but you can still knock it. You know what I mean? You can yeah. Like, the trunk, it'll still slap. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I, I feel you. So, what got you um, into singing? What What made you What made you want to sing? And then, what made you want to pursue it? Well, I've literally been singing since I was mm, probably in second grade. Like literally, I just. I don't know, I just found my voice at a really, really, really young age. And um, like, I just started doing all the talent shows in elementary school and my dad just saw that I really had a thing for music and singing. And so he really just showed me so much love and support and just doing that. So it's like really just what I've been doing all my life. And I just, I just always envisioned myself becoming a singer and that's just what I'm doing. So how did, how did you, uh like start pushing your music? What, what was that catalyst? Was it your pops that said, all right, we're going to do this? Or was it you like, you know what, this is something I want to do. Let's, let's see what, where this could take us. Right. So really, I've known that like becoming an artist was something I wanted to do since I was 10. So it's like my dad really just saw it and he cultivated um, really just all of the gifts that I had. And, you know, he made sure like he did what he had to do so I could get into the studio and record a song. So my sophomore year of high school, um, I just started doing covers and things like that. I started to, you know, put myself out there on social media. And then um, I dropped a cover of um, Music Soul Child, um, Just Friends. And so that kind of started to build up my name a little bit. And I just kept drop, dropping little singles and things that I, that I wrote in high school. And, and yeah, the rest is kind of history. And I just kept building from there. Oh, that, that is cool. Where'd you go to high school at? I went to high school at the Sumas Oaks. I okay. didn't end up graduating from there. I graduated from Rio Casadero. Shout out to Rio. But um, yeah, I went to, to, to high schools. Okay, so you, you uh, 
raised you from Sacramento, right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, that's what we got a sack in the building. You know, sack out. <laughs> <laughs> so what what uh what what do you got in store right now? Because uh what songs are you uh putting out like you got a single out right now, right? Right, right. So I have a single with Marmar also. It's called um, Fussing and Fighting. We just put it out. I'm super excited about just having it out there because I've literally had it for way too long. And um, I have a lot of music. I haven't really put out a lot of music in 2020. Um, it's been just two songs so far. And um, I've developed a lot musically. Um, just sonically, the way I, like my music sounds now is just like I'm, I'm so happy with it. So I'm coming out with a project very, very, very soon, and it's really just a compilation of everything that I kind of been through and just been put it together this year. How did you uh, link up with Mamar? Um, so me and him have the same manager. And so, um, literally, we just ended up, well, we knew each other before, like, before kind of music, like, we, were, we both did music, but we knew each other just on some Sacramento stuff, you know? Yeah. And then um, we ended up having the same manager, so we kind of just linked every day, did music, like, we were on the same team, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, y'all part of the same, same crew and everything. So, right. uh, when it comes to music, who, who would you like to work with? What... Like somebody that you could, if, if just out of any and everybody, if there was like, hey, you have a chance to work with one person, who would that be? Everybody asks me this. And I mean, just like only one person. It's like you have one chance to work with one artist. That is it. Nobody else. Just that one person. Who would that be? I would say, I would say Kendrick Lamar. Okay, Dot. Yeah, that's that was one of my biggest influences growing up. And so, you know, when I was in elementary school, I'd be like, I want to be signed to TDE and I want to do a song with Kendrick Lamar. And just because creatively, he's just like amazing. And I just feel like if we put something together, I know that it would be super soulful and just like dope. So, you know, one day we're going to make that happen. <laughs> It's going to happen. Hey, you put it out there in the universe. It, it will happen. <laughs> That's what you got to do. You got to speak it into existence. Yep. If you say it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And how your name is buzzing and how you, you're getting what, Ruthless, I, I think you just saw your post. Was it 10 million? That it, it, yeah, it got yeah, yeah. So across the board, it's at like 10 million streams. I'm like... Woo! That's crazy. All these people is hearing my voice, and I'm just like, it's a blessing. Oh, it definitely is. And you got a you got a good sound. You got a good voice, so people uh, definitely ride to it. I, I mean, I'm telling everybody to listen to Confide because that 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 song, that that one needs 10 million. I tell you that. Thank you, thank you. It's gonna get there. You know, it's, it's, it'll take some time, but you know, it'll it'll get there. No, it's it's definitely gonna get there. Where where did you uh, shoot that video at? I, I like the video. The video was cool. Oh, the video is actually like a funny story, like a super funny story. I actually had just moved. My dad had just got a house and um, we literally shot a lot of the video at my house when it was like unfurnished. Like the, the scene of me in the window was in my bedroom that I like. <laughs> Yeah, so it was before there was anything in there, so it was just like, this is perfect. And then, like, the scene where we were out in the country, like, um, we just happened to go to, like, I, I don't even know what area that was, probably, like, 35, 40 minutes from Sacramento. And um, the horse, like, we just happened to see someone with a horse, and I was like, hey, can I, can I hop on that horse real quick for this video? Like, I'm a singer, I'm from Sac. And she was like, yeah, you can hop on the horse. So we just... That was one take of me on the horse. And yeah, oh, just. Oh man, so everything was just basically on the fly. Yeah, it really was. It really like, that's, that's kind of how I operate. Like this thing just fall into place. Like. <laughs> hey man, that's the universe saying that this is how it's supposed to be. Yes. You no, know, that, that is good. So do you have any other uh, collabs in the making that you, you, you have in the works of working with other, other artists? Yes, so I actually have a song with TJ3K coming up. It's called Working. It's about to be on my new project. Um, 
videos coming off of that soon. So watch out for that. Um, and then, yeah, that's that's one of my main features that I had. Oh, that's what's, what's you know, and now you're going to be the main feature. <laughs> now you hey. the main folks are going to be out looking for, looking for you, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, just um, let's go back to your just your life before you hitting the ten million streams and any, anything like that. So, how 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 was it growing up? in Sacramento for you? Like, well, what was it like for you growing up out here? Um, my experience growing up in Sacramento was like, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's just, I, I don't even know how to describe it. I would say one way to describe it is just beautiful. I really was able to um, be a part of just the community in Sacramento at a super, super young age um, because I was involved in slam poetry. Um, with a nonprofit organization um, called Says, and uh, I was able to just perform all over the city with Says, um, doing spoken word poetry. I was able to perform all over the city just singing too. So it's just like I was able to tap into a lot of just collectives in Sacramento, and then not only just that, but just being a sack kid and hopping on the light rail and taking missions to Arden and, you know, being with my friends and, you know, just all those beautiful things and long walks to wherever, you know, just stuff like that. But, um, yeah, growing up in Sacramento is really just, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed that I'm from here. Like, Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know, my, I know you're never supposed to ask this or ask a woman this, but how old are you? I'm 18. 18. So you going, you're going to go vote? Yes. Okay. That is, that is, did you just turn 18? Or are you going on 19? No, I'm going on 19. Okay. So yeah, you definitely got to get out there and vote. Right. You know what right. I mean? You got to do your civic duty. Speak, speaking of civic duty. So uh, I'm going to get a little uh, social awareness right now. So what do you think about the whole uh, Black Lives Matter movement that's going on? I feel like, it's one of the most necessary times of just our, our history and our country, um, of just the young people and just all of us being fed up and really just declaring what it really is and, and, and showing how important it is to, to, to acknowledge and honor and, and, and protect our lives. And so I just feel like if we just uh, stay persistent and and, and, and keep pushing forward, I feel like we can, we can make changes, um, but we're fed up for sure. Oh, man, can it, can it say any better? And we're going to just leave it on that note right there. See, that's a good note to leave it on right there. You see, right, you know, Black Lives Matter, they got to know it. They got to know it. So, Yelly, uh, once again, shout out the project that you got, you got coming up. Yeah, um, yeah so... My project that's coming up is called Coldest Summer. Um, I'm gonna be dropping it pretty soon. I, I ain't gonna say the drop date just yet, but um, it's coming really soon. I have, this is like the best music that I've made so far and I'm like really excited about it. <laughs> so I just can't wait for everybody to hear it. And how, and how can they get uh, in contact with you? What's your social media handles and stuff? So you can follow me on Instagram at officialyelly. Um, you can spell my name Y-E-L-L-Y. You can follow me on Twitter at Official Yelly. You can find all my music on SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, you name it. I, I'm on there. Just look up Yelly. And um, yeah. How did, just real quick, how did you get your name Yelly? Okay, so when I was in, so my, my name is Danielle. It's my dad's name is Daniel, so you know we're not not that original. So, <laughs> um, in middle school, they used to call me Yelly Mackin. That was just like a thing because I was just like super smooth, I guess. I don't know. And so um, when I got into high school, um, I was doing music, putting out music, and I was going by Danielle Siobhan because that's my uh, my first name and my middle name. And I was like, that doesn't really necessarily have a ring to it. Like, I really want something that's a little shorter, just like you know, straight to the punch. And I was like, well, they do be calling me Yelly. I'm like, I don't know, that sounds a little childish. I don't know if I would name myself that. <laughs> and then my brother was like, yeah, just name yourself Yelly, Yelly. Like, you can hear that ringing. 
And my manager was like, yeah, do that. So I just kind of took the leap of faith and I'm happy that I did. Yeah, see, I, I my, my mind went somewhere else. I was like, yelly, oh, because she's high yellow. Okay, I got it. I got it. But nope, <laughs> not at all. That ain't it. That ain't no, it. No, no. <laughs> not at all. It's because your name's Danielle, and the yelly's from Danielle, and it all makes sense. It's better than me. See, I'm just a dumbass like that. So don't, <laughs> don't listen to me. Don't listen to me, yelly. <laughs> well, yelly, thank you again so much uh, for coming on. Stay safe in everything. And uh, once when this whole COVID thing is, I definitely, you got to come through to the studio so we can do an in live interview and everything. But uh, yes. yeah, best of luck to you and your music because your music is dope. Everybody needs to go check it out because you got a sound and a vibe to you that is, it's, it's much needed right now that's going on. You got, you got a dope sound, sound to you, Yelly. So I, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. I, I'm, I'm just super excited to see what's next and I can't wait to come through again. Oh, no problem. Well, that was Yelly chopping up game with your boy and we out. Hey. I said fuck him. Push him well then you duck him. Treat you like you nothing. Act like you won't touch him. I said fuck him. I said fuck him. I said, I said, I said.